What you're about to see is my interpretation of life and times and the events after the rapture during the first three months of the tribulation. There's been a fair amount of uh, Nephilim and uh, demon activity out in the alley, I've noticed. So, I'm going to set up the camera for a while, see if I can get anything. Okay, let's see what we can... Whoa! Oh. Things ever fast. Oh, just when I was talking about it, he takes his head through the window. Oh man, I'm gonna go see if I can go get some on camera. I think since the rapture happened well, the days finally got here uh, started about two or three blocks away uh, sometime this morning uh, the power's going out the they're they're restricting power so this is definitely going to be the last video um, well I've been out looking for about an hour now and I haven't seen any um, in case you don't know, in case you're unaware, you who find this, you dissidents on the outside of the New World Order, you've probably seen uh, those demons, mostly flying around in the sky, uh, sometimes they're on the ground, but you've seen a variety of them. From what I've gathered, they're both demons and Nephilim. What you saw in the window was a, uh, a low-level Nephilim. It's only about a uh, six-footer, but they can get pretty high, or they, they can get pretty tall. The tallest one I've seen so far is a 15-footer, but I hear that uh, they can grow as high as 30 feet. <sighs> It's good to hear airplanes again. It makes me feel that we're relatively back to normal or like, like the old days before the rapture. But still, I like these mornings where it's nice and quiet. Still. Uh, where was I? Right, uh, the Nephilim. Uh, yeah, they, they can grow anywhere from 6 feet to 30 feet. I've only seen the 15-footer and now that 6-footer. 
they're the ones wandering around. Most of them are pretending to be aliens, um, extraterrestrials sent to help people of the planet Earth, but uh, we know them as, uh, as Nephilim that were created by the, uh, by the demons. The demons are originally the uh, fallen angels that were kicked out of heaven way back when. And they're wandering around too. And yes, that's exactly what it looks like. We have uh, some mill cops and military police stationed around here as well. But anyway, um, where was I? Oh yes, uh, the demons. They're, uh, they're all wandering around too, pretending to be aliens, the alien helper. Uh, there's three levels if you uh, exclude uh, Satan, who's uh, disguised as the alien leader. So he's the one that's uh, walking arm in arm on the uh, in front of the TV cameras with the false prophet and the Antichrist. But his, uh, his comrades, the other fallen angels, the other ones that were booted out of heaven, there's uh, three levels of them. Uh, and they call themselves um, skin watchers. I think that's the uh, the top tier of all the uh, fallen angels. They're the ones who have been watching basically uh, mankind. Uh, they've been learning everything about mankind, the psychology and, and everything. Um, then there's the, uh, the, the skin walkers. They're the ones that are um, shapeshifters. Sometimes they're uh, disguised as people. Sometimes they can even uh, reshape the, um, I think it's the atmosphere around them, or, or somehow they're able to manipulate um, the air and they can create different shapes, like, like, like spaceships, geometrical kind of spaceships and whatnot. So they're the uh, skinwalkers, because most of the time they're, they're uh, disguised as aliens that have a humanoid form so that people will feel comfortable around them. Uh, and the third one are the uh, skin dancers. Those are the low-level demons that uh, are usually... It's getting a little busy this morning. It's good to hear planes. And it's good to see some people with vehicles. Those who managed to get there started and those who can afford gas. Oh, the things he was talking about is just awful. He even had a little video device. Oh, the, the cell the cell phones are back online. But the internet has changed. You can't find anything Christian there at all. Anything that referred to um, the Antichrist or the Beast or or the or the end times or the last days, it's 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 all been erased. Everything that every Christian had, had put down on the internet is is gone. The the one worlders don't want don't want any of that um, for anyone to see. All. Everything on the internet that talked about Jesus is gone. The name of Jesus is totally gone from the internet. He's been completely erased from from the mainstream. Anything biblical, anything prophetic, it's it's all gone. There's there's absolutely no evidence that that anybody knew that this was all gonna happen. People of the one world, they've just started their world over and it's a godless world it's a Christless world there's no Holy Spirit there's no Bibles there's there's nothing and, and the things that he showed me there they, they've, they've started the death games he said the big cities their populations have been cut in half oh. 
Um, they said all the homeless have been rounded up. Anybody that wasn't um, killed by the uh, pre-programmed people. He was telling me there's a lot of people that had been pre-programmed. A lot of kids, uh, teenagers, young adults, old adults. They've been programmed from 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 childhood with a set of instructions that once they were activated, they just went on killing sprees. They had a specific target, and from where they were to where their target was, anybody that got in their way was killed. They 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 didn't care. They were they were just murder machines. These these young people. <coughs> But he was saying um, that all the homeless um, are being rounded up in the big cities, and uh, they're they're being sent into those camps. There's uh, concentration camps, or um, uh, I forget what re-education camps, or something like that. And he said the people in there. Once they get into the camp, um, they're divided into two groups. Um, the healthy, um, the healthy are being killed for their organs, for their body parts. And they're making a lot of money um, selling human organs, the one-worlders. And um, the people that aren't healthy, that... Uh, whose bodies can't be used for profit. They're being put in death games. I, I, he, he showed me, he showed me some of them and they're just awful. They try to fight back as much as they can, but because they're so weak, they, they don't last long in those games. Uh, anyway, uh, where was? Oh yeah, the, uh, the the skin dancers. Those are the low-level demons. That uh, most of the time, they're the ones that possess people. That's why they're called. Oh yes, and uh, skins. Uh, that's what they call us humans. The demons, the fallen angels, the nephilim. They refer to human being as skins. So the skin watchers, obviously a top level, keeping an eye on mankind and helping to shape it. Uh, let me tell you, um, TV and movies. They did an excellent job in the in the 20th century, part of the 21st century. They did an excellent job in conditioning people to accept these uh, demons and nephilim as being extraterrestrials. <sighs> My thoughts are all mixed up. That the one I saw this morning uh, just kind of freaked me out. I've never been that close. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, the the nephilim different sizes, all looking like uh, as aliens, and uh, skin watchers, top level demons disguised as aliens, um, skin walkers, demons that can shapeshift into anything, into a, a UFO form, a bunch of um, uh, light in the sky, they, they can create a, 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 an angelic appearance. unusually busy this morning. That's like three or four people. Must be something happening around here. Anyway, um, and then the, the, the third level would be the skin dancers. Those low-level demons that uh, can possess people. And uh, I believe there's a whole bunch. So those are the ones that are entering into um, the humans who accept the number of the beast. They also get a... Uh, skin dancer as part of their you know, initiation into the world system in the mark of the beast holy moly this is the busiest i've ever seen it there must be something going on it's probably why all those demons and nephilim were running in and out of the alley because they work closely now with uh, with, with the human beings with those who are in charge 
of uh, keeping order in, in the new world. <sighs> That's it. Oh, yes. Lastly, they, they put on a show, too, in order to make themselves seem more benevolent and more powerful and more caring. Uh, the demons will once in a while put on a show. Some of the... Uh, who are they? Some of the uh, skinwalkers will uh, be disguised as uh, an evil alien. And, uh, and then the more friendly Nephilim will, uh, will battle them. They, they, they put on quite a show just to try and fool the people, just to, just to convince them that, there are, that, that, that there's evil and that there's good. But it doesn't fool us. Those of us with the uh, seal of God in our forehead. Um, and for some reason, the people haven't clued in. Every time we're around, the Nephilim, they disappear. They don't like being around us. Although, the uh, demons that are inside of a person, yeah, they can, they can hang around us people. They, they can hang around uh, Christians because... Um, I guess it must be the human side of them that can withstand um, the, uh, the, the sight of the seal of God in our foreheads. And it's those ones that are pushing around all the Christians, brutalizing them, being mean to them. Uh, and now I hear they're setting up some camps. There's, uh, there's one here in town and they're going to be kicking us out pretty soon. For the past three weeks, um, they've made it uh, mandatory now to take the number. Excuse me. Um, three weeks ago, it was compulsory, and only 20% of the population um, um, accepted the uh, the RFID chip into their hand. Um, uh, and oh, and now. Um, uh, it's, it's gone up to 55% and it's become mandatory. It's not growing fast enough, apparently. So now they're going um, door to door um, and we hear they're uh, taking people to uh, centers now to, uh, to make the choice. Uh, the, the choice is being forced on them now to uh, accept the number or to, uh, to get moved into the... Uh, uh, they say the re-education re centers or something like that, um, the, the concentration camps that, that, that we know it is. So um, at some point, um, um, it's, it's, it's going to happen. They're going to be knocking on the door or coming in into the door. Um, anyway, he gave me warning. He was struggling. My friend was struggling with the demon inside him. The demon was just pulling him away, but... He sat and talked to me as, as best as he could, as long as he could. He told me that uh, tomorrow <clears throat> um, they're coming to, uh, to clean out this town. The small towns um, in the country are, uh, are being cleaned out. Everybody's being moved to uh, population control centers in the bigger cities. Uh, he said in the next few days, um, North America is going to be divided up into uh, ten regions. And there are plans to divide up the entire planet into ten regions as well. And that's going to be happening over the next few days. So he gave me warning that they're coming to clean out the town tomorrow. So this might be my last, my last video entry. We're not going to run. There's no point in running. Because they'll just track us down. They'll just find us wherever they are. They've got, they've got Nephilim um, and demons flying around looking for all the believers. Because um, they can see us. They can see the mark on, uh, on our head. The mark of God on our head. The seal of God on our head. They can see that. And so it's easy for them to find the believers, so there's no point in running, we're just going to stay here and just wait for them to come. Anyway, 
Look at that. I haven't seen so much traffic here. I think those are people leaving town. The demons must be uh, convincing people that it's time to go or everybody's just moving out of the town now into the big city. They're starting to set up the uh, 10 regions in North America. Anyway, I think I've talked about that before. So you who are left outside the uh, New World Order struggling to find something to eat, if you come across this, this uh, recording device, uh, don't go in the big cities. And um, if you're going to stay hidden, just watch out for the, uh, for the demons flying around because they're looking for uh, people like you. Because uh, you will be... Uh, because you're a dissident and you won't take the number You're gonna be thrown into one of the camps And then you'll be used in live televised TV death games Or you might be one of the ones that are uh, Taken taken to Hollywood Hollywood has become a snuff movie factory and they use people um, They just kill people throw them from cars run over them I saw one of the movies, my neighbor came over and showed me one of the new movies that they made and it is just awful. Because I know that those are real people being shot, being stabbed, being cut up with, with swords, being thrown from buildings, being run over by, it's just, oh, this world. So I pray if you're going to uh, stay away from the world system, that you'd reach out to Jesus Christ, he's, a, he's your only source of salvation in this world run by the New World Order and the, uh, and the demons. There's definitely something going on today. So, uh, may Jesus have mercy on your soul. Accept him as your Lord and Savior, and you'll be able to escape this hell on earth. Later, maybe I hope Jesus rules. He told me that in those camps they're being divided up um, not only in the healthy and, and 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 the sick but they're also being divided up in terms of um, believers and non-believers. The non-believers get thrown in the death games and the believers He showed me the guillotines. He showed me what they look like. They're not, they're not gigantic machines. They're uh, about uh, 10 feet high, something like that. But they've got a weighted blade on them, so they fall, they fall hard. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I might be getting a cold. Without the heat in the house, we have to bundle up. Anyway, that's it. Like I was saying, if you find this and you haven't taken the mark of the beast, allow yourself to get your head chopped off if you want to go to heaven, if you want to be with the Lord. That's what we're going to have to do. So, today, tomorrow, the next day, whenever it happens, whenever they break into the house, we'll either be shot on sight or be taken into the camps. Either be killed for our body parts, or be, uh, or have our head chopped off. Anyway, um, it's late. I should get back to sleep. But I had to get that out. I couldn't. I couldn't sleep with all those things running through my head. I had to say something. Anyway, that's it. I hope I can make another video later, but. I don't know. So whoever you are hearing this, may Jesus have mercy on your soul. It's been quite the uh, it's been quite the experience the past three weeks. Um, what day is it? 
Oh, that would make it uh, about 97 days after the rapture. Um, so the past uh, the past month and a half, society had gotten back to normal. Um, electricity had been restored, the internet had been restored, but had been changed considerably um, from the days before the rapture. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and and that's when the ad started about uh, consolidating uh, the world's money into a, a single global dollar. And that's when he showed up, uh, the guy with all the answers. Um, he's a he's he's a pretty look a, a pretty look pretty good looking guy. Um, he's he, he's from the Middle East, and uh, he has all the answers. And he's uh, establishing uh, world peace too. Even as we speak, um, they're, uh, they're they plan on. Um, signing the uh, the seven year peace treaty, so finally the world is happy, and um, it's back on its feet. Um, they haven't made the announcement of the uh, of of the Nephilim yet, um, but uh, we know that's going to be happening soon. Anyway, that's it. Um, this is the day that uh, we get weeded out. Um, it's been fun uh, the past uh, uh, couple of weeks. We've had a lot of people come to the Lord had a lot of prayer meetings we've seen a lot of healings and a lot of miraculous things too so um, it's been good um, once they got electricity uh, started um, the Lord was really working um, in the hearts of a lot of people so even during the tribulation period um, we've managed to save a lot of people uh, we baptized them uh, the, any way we could uh, mostly just waters and in, in, in cups and stuff like that but uh, it's it's the thought that counts uh, anyway, um, so it's been good um, in, in, in our group here. We've had uh, a couple hundred people uh, come and go who've, uh, who've given their life to the Lord. And hopefully they'll stick with it um, even now um, that the time has come for them to choose um, where they're going to go. Um, except the number of the beast or um, they're going to go into the camps and eventually um, have their uh, heads chopped off. So now comes the day or... They could be um, shot um, sight unseen um, right on the spot as soon as the, uh, the military police come in the front door. Um, we have no idea when the Lord's going to take us. We just know that um, it's going to be sometime in the next uh, two or three minutes. I, I think I can hear something outside um, at the neighbors and it's getting louder. They'll be coming into the door soon. Um, okay, that's it. Um, I hope whoever sees this... Um, you're in a position where you can still make a choice. Don't accept the number. Um, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay. Um, okay, that's it. Um, okay.